Almost. Uh, we hope to have all of the notices that we're sending to property owners in their hands by September the 15th. Have there been many protests over the re reassessment? <laughs> Uh, we are, each day now, we're hearing protests from citizens, property owners. However, about 2%, as closely as I can estimate it, about 2% of the people who receive the notices are talking to us about their properties. How is the uh, new system of evaluating property working out? Well, so far it's run very smoothly. Uh, the best answer you'd get is from someone who's been here and talked to us about it, and uh, they, they would know whether they're happy with it, but as far as we can tell, the, the way the system is working, first a taxpayer comes to the assessor's office. We hope by doing this that he can talk to the man who actually appraised his property, the man who viewed it. And then if, if the property owner and the appraiser cannot get together, sometimes they're way apart. And in those cases, we refer it then to the uh, Equalization Board, which will meet on September the 6th. Uh, and beyond that, if, if the Equalization Board can't work it out with the property owner, they still have recourse to the court. Several states have begun reassessment at full market value, a 100% assessment. Do you foresee that happening here in Virginia? Well, actually, it has already begun. Uh, Richmond has gone through this program of 100% valuation. The appraised value is based on 100%. The only difference there is that the tax rate is adjusted to the 100% market value. It would certainly make it easy for people to understand. They wouldn't have to multiply the value that they, we have placed on their home by 40% and then multiply it again by $3.45 per 100 and then wonder if their answer was correct. It would be so much simpler to use 100%.